Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Nashville at Summer Nam 2018, talking to Joe Carducci at Gretsch Guitars. Joe, you got the new Malcolm Young signature. Malcolm Young, the greatest rhythm guitar player in rock and roll. You know, when we worked on this project, I got to uh, personally meet it, uh, with Malcolm and uh, get up close and personal with his original guitar. You know, for him, uh, it was more sentimental that he got his original duo jet from his older brother who of course was in the easy beats and originally the guitar was red as he tells the story and uh, and you know Gretsch is famous for you know some of their coverings they were uh, his guitar uh, wasn't really painted red on the top. It was drum, the drum covering. Yeah. Drum covering. He tells the story. He goes, yeah, you know, it got a little chip out over here one day, and it was right on where his arm. So he took a screwdriver. Said it took him about a day and a half to chip it all off. And then he got a friend who had a belt sander. So he took all the hardware off because it had still had glue on it to uh, take all the glue and, and make it smooth and uh, you know as, as typical of most guitar players for that never-ending search for the ultimate sound you know he added pickups he added switches and uh, for those who follow ACDC and the timeline of the band uh, you know the, the, the guitar morphed into many different versions but it was always the same guitar and uh, you know one time he had three pickups he had switches that did different things but ultimately he just settled with a one pickup uh, uh, in the bridge position and uh, the little chrome pieces when we saw it up close we go, Malcolm what's what's that all about he says oh, I was just trying to plug up the holes and uh, he says I bought them at a at a hardware store that you buy you peel them off and you stick them on the back of you know a mirror or a picture so it won't make marks on your wall he says it looked thought it looked cool and that's eventually what you know is part of the DNA of the instrument and we left it with the holes open and the way that it was carved out as part of it, part again of the physics of the instrument it's almost like an acoustic guitar with a pickup on it and the grip the weight of it it's really lightweight the bridge of course is pinned he had his screwed down so that it wouldn't move and uh, Malcolm Young what a wonderful sweet guy he was I'm so honored and privileged to spend time with him on this project to recreate this uh, historic instrument that made all those hit songs when did you guys start that project that was years ago right yeah so uh, we started probably I want to guess I'm guessing probably about seven years ago we originally uh, started the project you know Gretsch made a Malcolm Young uh, uh, signature model guitar and we brought uh, 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 brought it with us to when we met up with him and it wasn't quite like exactly like his stage guitar and you know what we just what did he say at that point well uh, uh, you know he was he was go back to the drawing board no 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 uh, he was very sweet and kind and, and, and we made it a point as the the uh, uh, the, the, the crew at Gretsch guitars were all guitarded and man we wanted to make sure you know we know that uh, the folks who want signature model guitars they want like what the guy is playing on stage so uh, earlier this year in January we we, we, we uh, offered it in a custom shop version that how the nicks and dings and scratches exactly like this is our uh, uh, pro series uh, signature model and uh, uh, this is going to be uh, part of the line now indefinitely, uh, along with uh, you know the Chet Atkins models and the, and the George Harrison and the uh, Billy Duffy models. So now we've introduced here at Summer Nam the Malcolm Young guitar. And here it is. So back to some of the basics. It, it's a mahogany carved out back. Right, and then is the top uh, maple or? Okay, so the, the top is a maple top. That was the the, uh, uh, the the design of the instrument as they made them. I believe it was a 1961 uh, double jet where it's a mahogany, chambered mahogany back and sides. And uh, so it's, again, it's very, very light and weight, real comfortable to play with a maple cap top on it. And the old school trim, I forget, is that? Uh, Burns. Burns. Burns tailpiece, yeah. We've already had people going, hey, well, does it come with the trim arm? No, because Al Malcolm didn't use his either, and it's locked in place for tuning stability. Now, originally, he would have had an old Filtertron, right? Well, yeah, you know, again, that was that 
chasing sounds. You know, we questioned him about the pickup, and it did go through different versions where people were going, oh, now try this or try this now. So he kept changing the pickup. Uh, stock on this guitar is the TV Jones Powertron. Okay. And again, it's high output, and, uh, and uh, you know, the family has approved the instrument, and they're very honored and privileged that, that we were able to replicate that guitar. Cool. Do you know if um, Malcolm ever actually played the Powertron, or that just felt like it was closest to what he might have been using, even though it was in the same brand? Or yeah, no. It, of course, his didn't. His stage guitar didn't have a TV Jones. At no point did he ever grab one. No, no. That's that's true. But as far as the amount of output and drive of the pickup, it was best suited for this instrument. Cool. Well, do you want to play a little bit more for us on that, and then we'll grab another guitar? Sure. Absolutely. Joe, so next up and last up, we just got two to cover today, is this cool new Streamliner, right? Yeah, absolutely. Streamliner, you know, it wasn't a name that we just pulled out of a hat. Back in the uh, late 40s, early 50s, uh, Gretsch was making a series of guitars called Streamliners. And Streamliners, you know, they didn't have gold binding or anything sparkle on it. It had everything you needed, nothing you didn't need. They were very wallet friendly, friendly and that's what we adapted with our Streamliner series. They had these big block inlays like you see here this logo style, the headstock shape, and... Uh, I really like the new matte finish. This is, have they ever done matte finishes on Streamliners before? Uh, no, this is, this is absolutely brand new. It's a, a satin blue finish with gold hardware with a P90 in the bridge position. Really Beautiful finish, the color itself and just the feel of it, it I don't know. Makes it look upscale. That it, that it did. And you know, Streamliners had these big acrylic knobs on them as well. And we painstakingly got some vintage Streamliner knobs and replicated them. Oh, really? That. That's what they were back in the day, that's huh? How, that, that's how they were back in the day, yes. So you got the usual master volume yeah. and two vo individual volumes and a tone, master tone? That is correct. Two individual volumes, uh, master tone, and then it's just like your gas pedal. So this is uh, your master volume here. And then, okay, and this, I forget what you call this pickup. This is the, uh, the Streamliner Broadtron pickup, and uh, they're uh, high output and uh, really warm sounding instruments. Uh, again, they're professional guitars. You can go gig with them tonight, and uh, they look way, way cool. Is, is the P90, sorry for interrupting, is that a, like a brand new model for you guys, this pickup itself? That is correct. On, on uh, the Streamliners, they didn't, we didn't do P90s. This is brand new for Summer Nam. And uh, uh, it's a 14-inch bout, so it's a smaller, and it's got a, a, a spruce center block down the center, and uh, you know they're made to play loud. Let's hear it. I'll start with a P90 pickup here. Here's a Braun Sounds nice. Here's a Braun Trot pickup, just same settings. How about middle? Do you mind showing us the back too? Absolutely. You see this it's is beautiful. It's got an arched back, uh, set neck joint, deluxe tuners on the headstock. How much is this going for? Uh, let's see, street price is it's about 500 bucks. Really? Okay. Yeah, very cool. Friendly. Yeah, very cool. And how about the Malcolm? I forgot to ask on the Malcolm. Uh, it's uh, I still getting that down. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's so new they don't know. No, it's uh, uh, the price. I can check it real quick off the top. Ballpark. Right. Oh, it's about uh, uh, it's about three grand. Okay, that's close enough. Google it. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.